My research focuses on the function and the repair of the skin. The skin is the largest organ in our body and it can perform multiple functions. It's responsible for keeping germs and uh, chemicals from the outside from getting into the body. It's also very important to keep good things for getting out of the body and so it's, uh, it's crucial for temperature control maintenance to maintain our water balance um, and to maintain our electrolyte balance as well. Our research has three main arms. Uh, the first arm has to do with how the skin is built and maintained and that has a direct implication uh, for blistering diseases. We can actually conduct experiments to try to understand how the, the skin is maintained together uh, and to try to find ways to avoid these blistering diseases that are found in patients with Kindler syndrome. There is another arm of our research that has to do with carcinogenic transformation. And so we're trying to better understand what are the uh, stimuli or the signals that take place that lead from a normal skin cell into a carcinogenically transformed one. Um, one of the main aspects that we are uh, very excited to start working on right now has to do with what is called phototoxicity. Even though somebody may not be exposed to a very, very high degree to UV uh, light to produce cancer normally, they may actually be at an increased risk of developing cancer because of the medications that they're taking. If we can understand what are the properties of those drugs that people may take that end up reacting with the UV light, we may be able either to help design other drugs that will not have that type of behavior or substitute them. Finally, the other aspect of my research has to do with wound healing. We often take for granted our ability to heal because normally we get hurt and we can reconstruct our skin and it comes back to normal or almost normal in a matter of days. But there are many conditions in which that doesn't happen. But it is just equally important to understand what's happening because we can probably you know, face some of those problems, approach or address some of those problems, and help people who may have uh, disorders, mostly genetic disorders of the skin.